I recently stumbled upon the legendary apartment building of Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City. In the show, Carrie plays a hopeless romantic, spirited writer, and fashion icon, once quoted saying, I spent $40,000 on shoes and I have no place to live? Hi everyone, it's Ash, and in this video, I channel my inner Carrie, forget about the bills, and shop my heart out. With a little help from my friends, I glow up to become the, my most iconic self yet. I'm trying to keep the damage under a thousand, so wait until the end of the video to see if I can do it. As always, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. I just finished my shopping adventure and look at my view. It's very pretty, very pretty little vessel. I'm such a shopaholic, it's not even funny and it's, it's very, I get very easily convinced to buy things. You could sell me like a samurai sword and I'd be like, yeah, I need it. <laughs> I'm going downstairs to pick up some food and I live in a fifth floor walk up and I, not in these shoes. So I'm about to get my lashes done. This is the before. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take my mascara off. Um <laughs> I'm lashless kind of have mascara all over my face, but I'm so excited to get my lash extension. So, hey boy, I want to introduce you guys. So this is like the next Virgil. Like, oh, this is oh my the God. I go to guy for like a creative vision. And he is that guy, so vlog like- And Ash is my muse. Follow him on Instagram. He is the next- And show Ash a lot of love, because honestly, she's so fucking amazing. Like, honestly, one of the best people I've ever met. Like, truly. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Yes, this is the next Virgil. <laughs> come here, come back, come back. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> look! Okay. Because it, right now it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, because like, yeah, I was going to say... Wait, uh, yeah. look up more. A little more. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thank you. I have to go shopping now to get some skincare items because I'm not a moisturizer and I spilled all of my hy hyaluronic acid um, so I picked up whatever I spilled and I put it on my body so I'm gonna be peeling today a little bit but I'm excited to get some sun and go shopping because it's definitely one of my favorite activities and I can't wait to replenish my skincare and take you guys conmigo to go do that. So, let's go. All right, we're in Sephora. We got some goodies, got a brush, got a highlighter, which I have on. And they can't, they can't even hear me. <laughs> and I got my moisturizer, which I live by, die by, love my Tatcha. And now we're just perusing and we'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. We have been influenced, but it's okay. How much do you think it'll be? Oh gosh, that's a good question. 
Okay, I think it's gonna be without without looking, without looking. That's a better one. I think it's gonna be 150. 130. Okay. All right. We'll see who whoever is closer. Oh. We're gonna do a review of what we got from Sephora. So if you saw the video, she guessed it was gonna be. No, let's not talk about 130, it. and I guess it was gonna be 150, but it ended up being 196. Almost 200. So almost 200. So we're gonna do a unboxing and a try on of the things we got. Great moisturizer, and it just soaks right in, and it's perfect for all occasions, nighttime, daytime. And if you're a dry skin girly like us, then you need it. The next thing I got that I'm really excited about is the Anastasia Auburn, Auburn Lip Pencil. It is a nice color. Nice kick. <laughs> oh, I was like gonna break it. Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in the shade Iced Out because we're always getting icy. Comes in this nice little packaging and it's really big and it's probably gonna last me for the rest of my life because okay. and oh. oh yes i got a gel eyeliner and i wanted the one that came in the pot and not in the eyeliner because i want to have like a smoky-ish eye a lip brush to do it because it has the angle and the point to get the precision but then it has the the fluff to blend it out. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We found something for her to do. She, she's the opener. If I can mess around with it. You're like, bitch. <laughs> You're like, <a> <laughs> okay, so that's like probably what I would do. You're fired. Thanks guys for watching our unboxing and in the next part, I will be getting my nails done. Really? I already have it filmed. I just wandered into a little vintage place and show you guys a garage sale of a bunch of little antiques or i guess big antiques little big medium size all sized antiques are welcomed in this place i'm gonna explore and if i see something cool i might just have we just have to have it so we'll see probably might probably not i think i can Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is just so cool and like interesting and like it's so cute to like study and want it. My mom's gonna kill me. There's a freaking fridge in here. I just bought some stuff, mainly books, um, because she gave me a good deal on it. And I'll do a haul, but I walked out and I forgot to pay and I was like, it's really dumb of me. What's up ladies and gentlemen? It's Ash, and I'm gonna do a haul of what I got from that vintage cute store. So the first thing I got was a book called Using Computers in Qualitative Research. I got this one called Daughters and Mothers, so cute. And I got this one that says, it's a girl thing. So I love women type stuff. And I got a bunch of cards, so I love little fun cards. I got it. Well, I got this from the deli, but I got Chobani because I'm hungry and it doubles as a face mask. I don't think a lot of people know that. But it does. I got this book called I Don't Know How She Does It because I don't know how I do it either. I don't know. I don't know. And I got this last one called The Craft of Strategy Formation. <laughs> the Yankees game. I don't have a hat. It kind of fits with the outfit, right? Uh, uh. Okay, 
Alright, I'm so tired. I had such a freaking long day. So I got this um, vitamin C face mask from Anthropology, and I want to try it. I think I just like I've just been craving face mask as of late. Why did I just rip it like a barbarian? It's because these nails. I can't do anything. Ah! Okay, so let's read it. Break pomegranate fruit, fig fruit, citrus fruit. All right, bang this on. Get it from a mind bomb, main bust down. These hoes can't stand me too. Back in Sephora, and I, <laughs> I am having trouble choosing what I want to get. There's so much good stuff. Check. I'm trying the Ilia um, Super Serum Skin Tint. Super Serum Skin Tint and the concealer right now. <laughs> okay, how should I do this? Um, let me see on your hand first. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your middle finger and you're just gonna tap that up. Oh, okay. I'm such an index finger user. The oh. reason why you wanna use your ring finger is because it has less strength than your other two fingers, so you're not stretching the skin. Because mm. you know? when you stretch the skin out, that's when you start getting like the wrinkles <gasps> in the Yeah. So you don't ever wanna drag it, you wanna tap it. Mm. This looks so beautiful. Thank you so much. No problem. Gorgeous. Hi baddies, I'm back and I wanted to give a final review on everything I got and how I thought my Carrie Bradshaw inspired fashion glow up went. So off the bat, I um, exceeded my intended budget of $1,000 by like $200, $300, which you know, isn't the best look in this economy, but I would say I definitely set that money aside to splurge on myself, experiment with different styles and have fun at these stores. My intention was never to save money, it was to ball out. But um, I think moving forward, like and comment if you guys want a financial planning video because I think, I think I'm think i well due for a good financial planning session after this one. Favorite thing that I got on my little spree was this Victorian era corset. I just felt like such a baddie wearing it. it. It's like a real deal, like steel boning, like you gotta tie that girly up kind of corset and I feel like it's rare that you find something of that quality um, and it was a cool like vintage find. It was a really fun experience buying it. Um, and it was just so fun. Not the most like comfy outfit, but it's it's like probably one of the biggest slays of my entire life. And my least favorite thing that I got was my lashes, which are now completely gone. But for a good week there, I was like kind of bald because all my lashes fell off. And anyone who's gotten extensions before knows that they're connected to your lash. So if the extension falls out, the lash falls out. I was a bald eagle for a little bit, but these are my natural lashes with just some mascara on them, and so they have healed, and they're getting better, and yeah, so yeah, honestly, that was kind of it. So yeah, moral of the story, don't get lash extensions, and do whatever you want because you're a lucky girl and everything is always working out for you, so make sure to subscribe and have fun and like my video and comment on my video and stay so silly and cute. Okay, 